guys, what is up? Welcome back for another vlog. Today, we're going to do some landscape photography in a location that I've never been to before, and that is Death Valley National Park. So guys, as you saw, we landed in Las Vegas last night and uh, stayed the night here. Now we're going to pick up our rental camper and then we're headed out from here to go over to Death Valley. And we're actually not going to be in Death Valley tonight. We're going to be in the Eastern Sierras, but then we're going to Death Valley for the rest of the trip. With that guys, we're going to hit the road. as you saw in the last clips um we drove through death valley national park i think i mentioned in the previous clip that uh we were going to just drive through there and we're going to the eastern sierras today and we have arrived and you can see here that uh this place is absolutely amazing i mean this is literally on level with the tetons here as far as the views and um that peak right there um that's in the center that tallest peak there that is actually mount whitney which is the tallest peak in the lower 48 states. So we're camping out here tonight and uh, I've actually had scouted a few locations out here beforehand that I wanted to shoot at for Sunrise and for Milky Way. And uh, this porch out here that I'm going to right now is the Milky Way spot. And I'm gonna go out there and show you guys basically what I'm envisioning. And uh, that'll be the first shoot for this trip is shooting the Milky Way out here because um, this is a really, really nice spot. And um, I'd seen some photos here, a few of the night sky, but mainly just sunset photos. Um, and I feel like it would be a really good arch for the Milky Way. All right, guys, so here is the arch. And um, basically my idea for this location is, uh, you know, this is west this way, that's north, which means that the Milky Way is going to come up somewhere in this direction. So what I'm hoping, if everything aligns, and I still need to look, I've got a couple apps that kind of simulate where the Milky Way is gonna come up. What I'm hoping is that the Milky Way is gonna rise right like this behind this arch, because we're in the very, very early start of Milky Way season where the core of the Milky Way is visible in the Northern Hemisphere. And at the very start of Milky Way season, you know, March, April-ish, um, it typically rises diagonally. And as the year goes on, then the Milky Way becomes more vertical. So my hope here is that I can get a shot like this kind of, but uh, probably a little bit more wide angle and up close. And uh, the Milky Way will be cutting diagonally through the frame like this. That is my hope, but uh, we'll see if that pans out. So I'm excited guys, but um, like I said, we're gonna just kind of relax and enjoy the rest of the evening. I'll see you guys again at like 3 a.m. tonight when I come back out to uh, hopefully get some Milky Way photos out here uh, with these amazing rock structures. So it's about 3 a.m. right now and I am out here at the arch shooting the Milky Way and um, I'm really liking what I'm getting so far. The Milky Way isn't all the way up yet, um, but I've gotten into position, got my composition down and I'm loving this. If the Milky Way lines up perfectly and the moon, which is rising just behind the Milky Way, hopefully doesn't ruin the shot, I think that this is going to be awesome. So guys, I was able to get some stuff that I like pretty good. Um, nothing that was perfect because the moon came up and was really starting to wash out the Milky Way. So um, you can still see the Milky Way in the photos, but it's not super strong. It's not as strong as I was hoping it would be um, if the moon hadn't been here. Yeah, I still got some good photos that I like, um, just not exactly what I was envisioning. But um, that's just something to come back and get when uh, the moon is not in this very unopportune location. Um, hopefully some point in the future. And uh, next, I'm gonna go back to bed and then I'll be up in just a few more hours to uh, shoot sunrise.
Okay, guys, yeah, so that was a scramble to get shots this morning. Um, I got out here a lot later than I should have, a lot later than I wanted to, and by the time that I was starting to try to find composition, the light was already starting to go off. And uh, so I, I was really scrambling to even get any compositions together. And so what I got together, you know, I like. Uh, it's not bad by any means, but I don't necessarily think that they're great compositions either. They're not exactly what I was hoping for because I got out here too late. Um, and that's all on me for uh, misjudging when I should get out here. Actually, I knew when I should get out here, but, uh, you know, you always want that little bit of extra sleep. Um, so, yeah. Anyways, uh, you guys saw those shots. I was able to get some cool telephoto stuff of Mount Whitney and then obviously the wide angle stuff. Um, so, yeah, that was pretty cool. Amazing lighting out here. Even if I didn't come away with exactly the shots I was hoping for, it was still awesome to experience. So, um... With that guys, that is all for our time here in the Eastern Sierras. We are now headed back to Death Valley and then um, be shooting there for I think two or three more days and uh, getting hopefully some great photos there as well. So we're gonna hit the road and um, I will see you guys over in Death Valley National Park. Last night, the dunes were basically a bust. Um, while we were scouting, I actually got a photo that was decent. Um, I just kind of was a handheld shot. I uh, didn't even really get to focus stack it like I wanted to to get everything in focus in the image. So it's not my favorite, but I really like the composition and wish I had a tripod to set up there. Um, and you guys saw that photo, but besides that, didn't really get anything. The clouds really ended up blocking out sunset. Um, but this morning, we came into Badwater Basin and um, this is actually the lowest place in North America where I'm standing right now. I'm 282 feet below sea level, which is pretty insane. And you can see these just bizarre salt formations out here in the basin. And um, I've walked a long way out. The cars are way over there. So I'm like a mile and a half out. Um, but this is where the salt formations are best because they haven't been trampled all over. Um, so... I came out here and shot this morning. Um, I got some stuff that was okay at sunrise, but uh, after sunrise and the sun was a little bit blocked by the clouds, I got some really, really cool stuff, I think, that was even better than my sunrise stuff. Um, so, was decently happy with uh, what I got out here. It wasn't exactly what I envisioned because I was really wanting to get like some pink sunrise colors on all of these salt formations, but um, I still got some stuff that I, I do really like and that I wasn't expecting to get. So pretty cool to come out here and uh, be able to document this landscape in photos. And um, I was pretty decently happy with what I got this morning. So with that, we're gonna be driving around the park today. Uh, probably won't do much hiking because it's gonna be over 100 degrees and then uh, shoot somewhere for sunset again.
unfortunately I didn't get too much of an opportunity to film for the shoot. There were really probably only a few clips in there because it was an absolute rush to get shots. Um, we decided to come to the sand dunes late. Um, as you can see, obviously we were in Mesquite Flat sand dunes. Um, and yeah, we decided to come here like maybe an hour and 30 minutes before sunrise or before sunset. So we had to rush. And then I literally ran into the dune field as fast as I could and got out here and started finding compositions and um, basically ran around as soon as I knew that I had a composition down and the lighting was good on it, I just moved on to the next one because I, I didn't have time really to scout or do any of that. Uh, that's kind of been the theme of this vlog is uh, not getting there on time for the shoot. But anyways, I did get to shoot some in some awesome light and I think I got some really cool stuff. Uh, some stuff that I'm very pleased with um, in the dunes today. Um, there were some shots that could have been better if I had a little more time to, you know, work out the composition a little more. But for the most part, especially given that I only had, like, by the time we got here, an hour in the dune field, um, I, I was really happy with what I got today. I, I think I got some pretty, pretty good stuff and uh, definitely better than the other night where we got nothing out here in the dunes. So um, you guys have already seen those shots, but um, at least on the back of the camera, they looked great. Hopefully when I get them into Lightroom, they look just as good. Um, so yeah, that was awesome. And um, we are now here at twilight in the dunes and I have been taking a couple of different blue hour photos. So yeah, it's been a really awesome evening shooting here in the dunes and so far it's been a pretty awesome trip. Um, but this was definitely my most successful shoot so far. Um, so with that guys, I think that's all for tonight. And um, I'll see you guys tomorrow with what will probably be the final shoot of the trip because tomorrow is our last day, unfortunately. But um, yeah, I'll see you guys then. I'm interject here to remind you all that I'm going to be giving away a free trip to Alaska where you and I will go to Lake Clark National Park to photograph coastal Alaskan brown bears when I hit 10,000 subscribers. All you have to do for a chance to enter is be a subscriber to the channel and then when I hit 10k, I'm going to select a winner. So you guys know what to do. Hit that subscribe button down below and then when we hit 10k, join me in Alaska. <music>